We will now do a clinical screening for hip dysplasia and or developmental uh, hip dysplasia for a baby four uh, months old. First you have to look the length and compare them and then you can also look for the uh, skin folds there and you can uh, make sure that uh, they are symmetric or no. This is not a very well uh, good sign for hip dysplasia, but it's good because the pediatricians normally uh, see them and they come uh, to us asking if this baby has or not uh, uh, hip dysplasia. Then the, the most important sign in these cases is that you can find some difference in the length with the flexed knee and hips. You can see here, that this, which is the right in the baby, it's a little bit down compared with the other one. So this in, may indicate to us that we have a hip dysplasia on the right side. Now, the most important sign really, clinical finding, is that we have a limited abduction in the leg that it has dysplasia. You can see here that the left leg or tie of this baby is almost very easy to get to the table. But on the other side, this one, the right side of this baby, doesn't get that easy. And it has an angulation that is limited compared with the other side. This may be a problem when you have both uh, hips affected, but it's very common that these cases are uh, unilateral. So in this case, we have a baby with a limited abduction on the right side, and this is a very, very positive sign of hip uh, dysplasia.